and then to see the sun and the blue sky come out, that makes a world of difference. Feels so good out. I mean, it's still a little on the you know cooler side by uh, April standards, but I'll take the sun, right? Yeah, I'm with you. I'll take the, the chilly weather if we get some sunshine. It lifts the spirits. Makes up for it. Mm. We have a really nice day here ahead of us. A couple of them kind of embedded within the forecast in the coming days, but we'll also have some showers too. Those return tomorrow afternoon and evening particularly. It's also going to warm up a little bit and it's going to be even warmer on Saturday and I would say overall pretty nice for the first half of the weekend too. Here of course are those nice clear skies on Storm Tracker. Going to feel really, really good out there. Those showers that are off to the south and west of us are going to avoid us. We're just going to get these little wispy, thin clouds in and out. You can see that nice, beautiful sunshine bouncing off the Golden Dome there at the Capitol. A lovely looking day, and it feels good too. Temperatures still a little bit behind what our average for this time of year would normally be in the low 50s. But that 41 in Burlington, 44 in Plattsburgh, I think feels Okay, in the Champlain Valley with all that sun shining. 38 in St. J, 35 Saranac Lake, 39 in Rutland. But again, sun will make all the difference today. And it's actually, despite a light northerly wind, going to help us warm up even more. So I think we'll be just barely flirting with that 50 mark this afternoon around 4 or 5 o'clock. And then towards sunset, temperatures start to dip again. We'll be in the 30s tomorrow morning with a few more clouds rolling in. Here they are on Futurecast. Again, the rest of today will be nice and bright, but those, those clouds do fill out at times tonight and into tomorrow morning and afternoon, but they'll break up a little bit at times too. Here they are tomorrow morning, Friday through midday. A spot shower isn't out of the question, but like I mentioned, some sun will come back out at times too. I want to take you towards dinner time and beyond, and that's when our next round of showers is going to arrive. And as you can see, scattered rain, some pockets of the heavier stuff, not out of the question, but this is not a big deal here. This is going to roll through pretty quickly on Friday night and into early on Saturday morning. And again, on Saturday, just just like Friday morning, you're going to find some spot showers left over in some clouds at times, but especially towards the afternoon, we're going to continue to dry up more and more. And through Sunday morning, we are going to stay nice and dry. It doesn't stay that way, though. In fact, Sunday night into Monday, we're looking at a nice hefty round of rain. This first one, though, not that bad. Couple tenths of an inch of rain you can see here showing up on future casts, maybe a quarter of an inch in some localized areas, but a pretty typical round of rain that's going to get out of our hair pretty quickly. And like I mentioned, we're going to dry up nicely just in time for your Saturday afternoon. And the rain isn't so bad when it comes along with that, I think, very anxiously awaited warm up. We're going to be near 57 tomorrow. It's going to feel really, really good. And it's going to be pretty toasty on Saturday afternoon, especially when you add in some of that sunshine, 65 for a high. But it is going to be on the breezy side on Saturday. Sunday starts dry, increasing clouds, though. That's ahead of some steady rain that will begin early, early Monday morning. And it looks like a really wet start to your work week. Temperatures near 50, not bad, but it comes along with periods of that heavy rain essentially all day with some lingering scattered showers on Tuesday and a continued cool down. The rest of next week kind of uh, back and forth does look like we'll get a few more chances of that rain through the end of the week too.